a monster I'm a man it's a movie I shouldn't say that on the radio it's copyrighted I'm sorry I guess first I would apologize to Charles Lawton who played the monster man <coughs> I don't want to cough too much that'll make things weird trust me uh, so hey how about those Greek heterodox Christians am I right it's like, hello, <laughs> the Manichees called. They want their belief in two basic oppositional substances back. Am I right? <laughs> right? Tough crowd, Jesus. It's like I told that at the Knights Templar Lodge last week, and they all went crazy. I slayed the Templars like King Philip IV and Pope Clement in the year 1312. <laughs> you remember that one? I do. It was a Friday that that happened. They all got locked up. No, yeah, sorry, my, my jokes can tend to have a little bit of a, a theological bent to them. I can't help it. The Lord speaks through me. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I say this and you laugh, but, you know, that's the sort of thing that got me excommunicated by Pope Francis Bergoglio. <laughs> it's not, I mean, you laugh, but I can't get communion anymore. <laughs> How can I have the, the, the sustaining flesh? It doesn't matter. It's not important, really. It's fine. It's really fine. I, religion is one thing. I'm also I'm really in denialism now. It's going really well. Reading a lot of Nietzsche. It's really cool. I think he had some really good things to say, too. Some things I really buy into. Like when, when he said, God is dead. I believe that. I know that's true. That's a fact. I saw it happen on TV. It was, it was February... 19th 2001 and he was coming around the fourth turn of the Daytona 500 and his car bumped into Ken Schrader's and he went nose first into the side of the wall and it burst into flames and his god died instantly <laughs> with a fracture to the basilar part of the skull <laughs> yes I believe god is Dale Earnhardt <laughs> and I think Nietzsche did too it's okay. You know what? This is getting a little depressing. I don't want to think about the greatest racer ever, rest in peace, number three, <laughs> dying in Florida where a lot of people die. He's one of many. God was like us. He was flesh and man. But really, what we want to talk about now is things that are good for us, like being healthy, like exercising, like standing up, like drinking fruit juice, very tart fruit juices produced by the Ocean Spray Corporation. <laughs> I, for one, love Ocean Spray. They have, their juices have many antioxidants. <laughs> what I want to know, though, <laughs> this is the good part, where did those fascists put all the pro-oxidants, am I right? This is my big political issue. <laughs> Just kidding, I, I've already been excommunicated. I don't want to deal with the people at Ocean Spray head Q. That would be, that'd be another... Because then I can't have the communion, but then I can't also, I can't have the wine because it's always just fruit juice. And who do you think makes that in Massachusetts? Ocean spray. <laughs> it's fine. No, it's like I love, I love fruit juice. I love ocean spray. They're based in Massachusetts. My home state, my favorite commonwealth state. <laughs> it's really good. I love it. You know, there's a lot of cranberry bogs. So let's just give it up for Mass. <coughs> you can see. Wir sind not durch und Freunde gegangen mit Hand und Hand. Vom Wandern ruhen wir beide oberm der stillen Mann. <coughs> so I was talking to my wife last <laughs> night and she says who are you? <laughs> Sorry, I think that, that I don't know what being around so much electronic equipment kind of does things to the metal plate in my head. <laughs> I get sometimes get the wires crossed up there and stuff comes out. I maybe there might be some shortwave radio signals that I wasn't expecting there. I'm really sorry. 
It's okay, then we're gonna move on. We're gonna talk more about Massachusetts. <laughs> People like Massachusetts? I do, you know that. You know that, I told you that. <laughs> so, Massachusetts, great state. You know, I say I'm from there and everyone's like, oh, it's probably from Worcester, right? Well, I am. <laughs> and I, I know, I know, it's a, it's a great city. It's, you know, cliche, Worcester, oh, he's from Wormtown, right? Those who live stereotypically aren't really alive at all. <laughs> But no, it's really a good city. It's just, there's no, it's, there's no industry left. <laughs> it's good though. <laughs> I love it. No, Massachusetts is a great state. I think Worcester is great. I love hanging out there. And most importantly, I love learning about the future of all these cities where the in industry left. I was reading this great article the other day. You're gonna, you guys are going to love this. It's really fun. It's called The Future of Revitalizing New England Mill Towns. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the whole stay in your seats. This is getting raunchy. So it said that, oh, actually, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause on that for a second. I, I really don't want to give away all my good statistics this early in a set. Because then, otherwise, you're just going to get bored when I'm run, I run out of tables. And you're like, ah, this is... Horrible, I came here to learn and take notes and then he's not, he doesn't have any demographic information or square mileage of any towns or mm, median incomes and then there's no fun for anybody. So I'm gonna stop that, I'm gonna stop that. I am gonna give you one little fact. So Euclidean or non, or sorry, single use land zoning. <laughs> Let's take apart this term, shall we? <laughs> So it's basically when land use is, div oh, guess where it's named after first off, Euclidean, it's named after Euclid, Ohio, right up on down the road over there. It's local information I thought you'd want to know. <laughs> but it's, it's, either way, they basically split up land use so that you can only use certain areas of a town for certain you know, purposes, commercial, you know, heavy industry, light industry, uh, residential, and it basically it makes cities really sprawling and big and unlivable, and that's no good. It's a really awful thing. It's killing New England mill towns. And I hear that, and I'm like, are you clitting me? <laughs> right, see? Some people, they tell jokes, and it's built up in a punchline. I like to go several facts and then a pun. <laughs> and and then, I, then I run off the stage because it's my Alani's turn. <laughs> 